was Kantaru Mura, a lolly con. Yes. You're telling me the guy who made my heroes been eating Subway sandwiches the whole time? What am I meant to do with that information? Research, of course. Read and share what I learn with you fine people. So here we go. Take it back to the... Tokyo Metropolitan Ordinance regarding the healthy development of youths. Enacted 1964, Mura, he was against it. You see, his protagonist's origin story goes against this ordinance, so it stands to reason he had no choice but to stand against his government. Based as he was, he would fight so for his art. They do it entirely for their own sake. It's their dream. His dream. His dream. Here we see this comic. Boy howdy, that's something else. But Berserk is really a greater example. He was making a point. See, maybe it is possible to have a lolly character and not have it be tasteless. It's like he was saying here, proof is in the pudding. Gus isn't interested in Shirk. In that way, he's not perverted. But then, there's that other manga. With Gigantomaxia, he's showing off. He's saying, I'm Kentaro Mura. What are you gonna do about it? And on some level, I have to respect how based that is, but on the other hand, Giganto, who is he? He don't even have a sword. Take the lolly out of the equation and just look at this guy. How do you go from this to this? And why is he letting this girl pee on him? I don't like it. Guts, Guts would never let some girl pee on him. I don't care how old she was, even if it was Casca saying, oh, 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 we He would say, no, and have Farney deal with it. That's my problem with the lolly manga he made, not even the perversion. And it is perverse, but the fact... And what world could this possibly compare to Berserk? One of the greatest works of fiction ever created? It doesn't. He could have spent that time drawing a giant demon and make Guts kill it. All right, Idol Laster, are you familiar with this? It's one of those Genshin impacts, but all the characters are little girls wearing bikinis. You want to explain yourself? Grab that towel right there, please. Give a seat over in that chair, please. What are you doing? What? No, I only just Google it, I swear. You gotta believe me. You gotta understand where I'm coming from. I play old school RuneScape. In the digital world, I'm basically Guts. As long as it's a fantasy that's not real, I'm him. And Guts, Guts would never play Idol Master. He'd cut some giant demon in half and say, When you meet your god, tell him to leave me alone. It's completely different. It's not even how creepy it is. And it is creepy. It's the fact, it's not even a good game. Who plays this shit? Have some standards. Lollies. If I seem to have this indifference about them and the things they're in, what then could I possibly say about Berserk? Nothing. Really, I'm looking at what you're supposed to be looking at. That's the one thing that bothers me about Shirk. She honestly thinks he'd be interested in her? Please. It's been established he likes full grown tomboy titty. Guy never had a sub in his life, give me a break. And the moth girl, yeah, she was 14. And if you buy into my ultimate knowledge of the berserk world, the sword is a phallic symbol. The demons are vaginas. Then it makes the panel where he's impaling her from behind, straight through her womb, pretty graphic, pretty demented. I don't care, I'm not some delicate flower that needs to be protected. I listen to Elvis, despite the fact he was a hypocrite, pill-popping groomer. 
My only hope is to be half as base as this man, who literally created the second most disturbed manga I've ever read. I don't like it, but I love this. And I love anyone who's made it this far. I know the best things about my videos are the berserk art and music, and I don't make those things. But I'm trying to get better for you guys. I want to have a better voice, better videos, and it means the world to me you're watching. Thanks for everything.